Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Excel VB Expert. In today's video, we are going to solve or we are going to automate one task which is the data consolidation. We will create one VBA code in today's video and that code you know will help us to you know consolidate the data only for the specific header. For example, we do have you know the multiple workbook. In the multiple workbook, we do have lot of headers and headers are suffered. Okay, but we would need we would need every time the common header we need to consolidate consolidate the data of three headers okay the these those three headers you know would always uh, remain you know remain same in all the workbook for example let me show you the one demo you guys can see here i do have these three workbook okay data data one data three if i would open data so you guys can see i do have agent account type open by branch customer date and amount all right if i would open data three you guys can see i would have you know one and two see the revenue sales these are the you know extra field that i do have in data three but the data which i want to consolidate only agent okay that headers you need to paste you know in the column a agent i want to consolidate branch i want to consolidate and amount that's it these three fields you know would be in every workbook let's close it if i would click on the run button so what it will do it will take me to the browser i need to select the file whatever the file i want to consolidate okay and click on open as soon as you will click on open all those you know workbook will get up get will get open one by one and will search the header will copy the data and will paste it in the collated data which uh, the sheet that i have created in the working file you guys can see agent branch and amount okay header automatically you know get copy and paste from sheet one okay so as soon as i will as soon as i clicked on the run the data got consolidated in the collated data sheet okay that is what we need to consolidate for example i in my case i have only three headers but in your case if you have more headers you guys can paste it here and select the file and click on run okay and those file will get consolidated automatically by itself in the collated data right so that is what we are going to solve in today's video let's create the you know code so if i uh, i need to press alt f11 let's create one module alt im here i am gonna write you know code sub procedure name data consolidation okay consolidation of a specific header okay all right so what i need to do i need to define first both the sheet okay dim sh as a worksheet sh1 as a worksheet okay so in this uh, sheet i need to define i will define both you know uh, sheet one and recollated data i need to define here but before that i would also declare one more var variable which would be the workbook and p as a variant okay see uh, now what i need to do i am just gonna define the sheet this workbook dot sheets sheets will be sheet one okay and set sh1 where i want to consolidate the data that sheet name i am going to define here okay which is collected data copy okay and paste it here now you guys can see i have done this now what next i need to do i need to you know prepare the header in the collated data the header i would paste in the column a right so what i need to do i need to copy it and will paste it here in the transpose mode okay so what i would do for example i do have you know data and i want to consolidate the data only of four headers for example agent i want to agent customer and amount okay i am pasting it here agent branch and customer and one more column which would be amount okay these four columns data i want to consolidate from all those three workbook okay so what my code will do first first of all you know my code will clean the collated data sheet okay and after that it will get copy from the sheet one and will get it paste in the transpose mode okay okay transpose mode, like this so my header also will be ready what uh, next i need to do i have defined the sheets so in sh1 i want to clear first everything use range dot clear okay and in sh in uh, you know in sheet one i want to copy the headers from a5 till till uh, till the end row okay whatever would be the last header 
those headers should get copy and paste in, into the collated data sheet okay so sh a5 to a dynamic range i need to create cells rows dot count a dot and xlub dot row copy you just copy it okay you need to paste it you know in a1 in collected data i have you know written here sh1 not sh paste o all and transport would be true that's it okay so what it has done now you guys can see i don't have anything okay in the collected data if i would execute it if i would press f8 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 what it has done it has copied the header and pasted here you guys can see okay what would be the next step the next step would be i need to create a you know the one loop wherein i will select all those workbook and will get you know will start to work will start to you know execute the command of copy and paste you know in the quality data let's do it so you know i have declared one more variable which uh, which is p as a variant is the p i would you know i would write the code of browser so that it will take me to the browser get open file name and select the multi selection would be true that's it okay what next i need to do i need to run the loop so for the loop i need to declare the variable so let's declare the variable dim k as a integer j as an integer and i as an integer okay three variable i have declared so here what i need to do i need to open the file in the file just write l bound p to u bound okay to u bound p all right so next so here what i need i have already declared the dim or uh, wkv as a workbook so in wkv i would open my workbooks one by one okay okay that's it okay i will attach this workbook as well in the description box guys you can you guys can download it and also you, it can also be very helpful for you guys you can start to use it in your case okay i have opened the file so what next i need to do after opening the file i need to search these headers okay to in order to search this header this is the something which is very important so my loop will start to run from a5 okay so in the a5 you need to you know uh, uh, declare i have already declared j as an integer so in the j i am storing row number 5 from the row number 5 what my row number 5 row number 5 will get stored in j okay and i would run you know do until row ss dot you know uh, here ss dot cells all right here i am gonna you know declare wkb dot sheet the the workbook that i have opened okay so therein i want to search it so if i don't want to search it so let's do let's you know approach the different way so you guys also can write ss dot cells row number would be j column would be one dot value till the blank okay that is something we need to do if if my value is in the a column so what it should done it should run one more loop which will be searching in the wkb workbook okay so here you need to write one more variable i i already declare one more vari variable by the name of i so in i row from the row number column number 1 to cells okay call a row would be one columns dot count dot and excel to write dot column i would tell you guys what it is it has it, this is the meaning okay so let me tell you the what why that we have we are going to run one more loop so here you know the first loop do until it's it will be running on the seat one okay but the next one which is for i equal to 1 the uh, the workbook that we will open therein also we need to search this header so from the column number 1 till the last column that we need to search it wherever i will found it okay it will you know copy and paste if the header we will not found so it should throw me the error error okay that is what we need to do so here what i need to do here one uh, in order to you know in order to get the error, uh, error as well that if the error will get occurred so in that case it 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 should tell me that the error that you are occurring okay in this in the specific workbook for example that we have selected the more than 10 to 20 workbooks if the header if the error will come so it should tell me in which workbook that we do not have the header so that we can fix it right so for that i need to declare one more variable error dot error dot uh, you know let's error as as variant okay 
we have declared so in error in error what do you need to do you also guys can uh, let's long okay in the error declare error equal to zero okay so what it should do now i need to you know get this match if sh dot cells all right one comma i okay in the you know if any column is getting match with the value of the value that we have stored in the do until j comma one dot value then what should happen in this case what should happen data should get consolidated so here we need to write wkb seeds one dot okay that's what we need to mention this is the something which is mandatory okay so here it should copy it copy the data from the till till the i will show you one by one okay let's write the code first and uh, let me also make you to understand so in this case that we have matched the header okay next line the next line what we need to do if the header is getting matched in the both in the workbook then it should select the row number two and select the range till the down okay uh, till the end row okay and uh, that should get copy and will paste it in the collated data how let's do it so in range okay here what we need to do let's select the wkv dot seats one dot cells instead of one here we need to define row number two because we don't want to copy the header okay i dot select okay and before this also we need to wkv dot activate we need to activate it and after that range selection selection dot and excel down dot select okay after that selection dot copy that is what we need to do all right and after that i need to activate this workbook okay activate and declare and activate the sheet also okay select and after that i need to paste it where i need to paste it you need to know so you need to write the code like this sh dot cells all right here okay cells in the row number in the row number what row number would be row number would be your uh this sh dot cells all right sh1 dot you know uh here you what you need to do just let's write the row number row number what i need what i need to do i need to you know go in the last row and after that it should go up and select and go one more cell down and it should be your blank and here in exactly we need to paste the data okay that is what we need to do so let's write it 10 lakh 48576 it is the last row number from the last row number i want to go up okay so column would be one dot and excel up okay excel up dot offset one comma zero dot select okay that is what we need to do all right but here what we have done all right dot excel up dot offset that is the row number here what we have a store here we have stored the row number but you know you guys can see as soon as i would do cells so here it is asking me the row number and the column number two things right in the row number that for example we are writing 10 like 48576 okay in the column column name also should be the dynamic okay how we need to make it dynamic so it uh, how we can do it so here we need to you know here we need to define it by j equal to j minus you know five dot and excel up dot offset one comma zero i will tell you what it is dot select okay that is what we have done so what it is saying because column also we need to you know make it dynamic because we can't specify only column number one if i would specify the column number one so all the header data all the data will get only uh, pasted in the single column I also need to move my columns columns number as well right so that my data will get be will be you know prepared in the sequence okay that is what we also need to do now the next thing what we need to do here we have selected the you know the row number and after that active cell okay dot paste paste all that is what we need to do okay and here error id error plus okay and if next i okay if 
here what we need to do here i need to define if error is is uh, you know zero if the header is zero for example that the header is not found okay then message box should come message box uh, header which header header yeah blue header blue header has been not found okay so here new line header would be sh dot cells okay header would be sh dot cells all right message box db new line okay so remove it sh dot cells it should be it should be j comma one dot value in which in which you know workbook in wkb dot name okay wkb dot name will be critical okay and exit sub and if we have not found the header okay that is what you need to write and and if here you need to you know here you need to also close the do until loop also j equal to j plus one loop okay and after that you need to close the workbook application dot display alerts equal to false wkb dot close the code little you know massive but yes it is very powerful we have done so let's execute one by one okay i am not going to run it in a one go so let's you know bifurcate the sheet and remove it now let's run it if i am pressing f8 selection dot copy f8 now it is working you guys can see copy and i pasted you guys can see now my header is got pasted here next it will take me to the browser so i will select all these three workbook okay and clicking on open as soon as i am clicking on open then it should get open my it should op it should open my workbook my work workbook actually has open now let's you know match the header okay you guys can see now my data is got copied okay activated the sheet now here we are getting error why here we are getting here error just because of we need we have not defined you know here you need to define like this j minus 5 okay dot and excel up dot offset 1 comma 0 dot select all right so here what 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 you know else that we are uh, missing let me check so here what we can do here we are getting the error cells it should uh, row number would be tail neck 48576 Row number would be J minus four, so it would be one. Okay, dot value dot and Excel up dot offset one comma zero dot select. That should be the thing. Okay, now it now we have corrected. Okay, now A to H actually got selected okay paste it the data which we copied from in the wkb the workbook that we have opened okay and now it has you know copy and paste it now let's it's matching the different header okay let's make this stop here again if my header will get match then again it should get copy okay so i am pressing f5 as soon as i will press f5 now branch okay branch is getting copied and getting paste here you guys can see okay that is what we have done okay again f5 now my a customer copy and paste it here you guys can see okay now it should amount okay one by one i am showing you guys you guys you guys can see it you know how quickly it is working or it is very beneficial for all of us guys so now i am pressing f8 and let's press f5 now okay done okay so now the message box we need to print here after the loop 
if I would press F5 now, so you guys can see my data is getting pasted one by one. Okay, see, done. So my all these three workbook data got you know pasted only of the header, only the header that we you know specified here. So that is what let's let's you know uh, assign this code into the one one button. Let's create one button here. Okay, I'm just creating it and I'm right clicking on it. You guys can give the name in my case. I'm not giving. Okay, so here not edit assign macro in the assign macro. Let's select that this workbook in the this workbook. This is what that we have created. Let's click. Okay, data is here. I'm removing it. Okay, and I'm clicking on it. Okay. I am selecting all these three workbook and clicking on open so it will you know uh, it will uh, it will you know help me to get the data in the sequence and it it also will save my lot of time and it, it will increase the accuracy of the work as well okay it will make the things very faster you guys can see my all the header data you know got uh, you know automatically pasted in the quality data in just few seconds okay if for example now I don't need uh, amount okay so you guys can see that i do have this data you don't need to delete because we are already you know mentioned that line okay in the code the data will get deleted automatically by itself i am selecting again okay and selecting all these three workbook and clicking on open so it will help me to collate the data one by one okay the header we removed amount that will not get consolidated in this case okay so you guys can see the data uh, amount is not coming now okay if i want to consolidate only if i want to consolidate only uh, agent and branch then let's see i am giving you full testing of it okay instead of this header if you want to consolidate the data of any header you just need to you know uh, specify the header and select the file wherein you have uh, availability of that header in my case now for example now data we have consolidated one more thing that we created if I don't have header of Akash, I'm giving the random, which is the wrong header. Okay, I'm clicking on it. Now let's see. Will it throw me the error? Let's see. It should throw. Blue header has not found in the Akash. Blue header has not found Akash in data. This language that you guys can change it. Okay. So in the data file that we don't have Akash header. So you just need to fix it first. Then you should move further. So I removed the Akash. Now I am again clicking on it and selecting the file and clicking on open now my data will get consolidated very easily okay done now you guys can see agent and branch you know got consolidated from all those three workbook okay so this is what you guys can create i will give you this file in the description box from there you guys can download it and you can start to use okay and I hope guys you have liked this video. Okay. Let's meet in the next video with a new topic. Thank you very much for the timing. Okay. The, the time that you are giving to this video. Thank you very much.